Fortnite. Okay, I have two. Okay. So that's what. I still feel like I'm brand. <laughs> 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 I've worked six more since you've been here. Okay, so we will get started um, because everybody else can just kind of catch up with it anyway. So uh, what I've done is I do have the slideshow here and it'll show you what to do. Um, this would be more of an interactive thing, so you should be doing as we're talking and by the end of this you should have a functional app. Okay? All right. So, uh, you know, I guess the first question that we do have is, you know, how do I get it? So if you go into your browsers on your phones, uh, type in homekeeper.com forward slash aw and you will get your free account. That's okay, Alex. I'm used to that with you. And there's no E <laughs> before the R. Yeah, yes, yes, and that is not a typo. It is K E P or K E P R. There is no E R. Yeah, do it from your phone, Alex, because uh, essentially what's going to happen is you're going to set this up when you're completed. So you want the one, two that's coming up. Let me take a look. You should be going to a website. Oh, I'm going to my iPad. Oh, yeah. No, don't do it in the App Store. Open up your Internet browsers on your phone. So just like that, right? Yes. Yeah. And so, yeah, and so if you look, right, these are the screens you guys should be seeing, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, where is the Flickr? Oh, yeah. It is a really cool app because what it's going to allow you to do is, you know, and, and you're really good at going out and meeting businesses and stuff like that. So now you can actually go out to them and you can say, hi, you know, I wanted to start a, you know, relationship with working with you. And this is one of the things that I offered all of my clients. And so then you can at that point show them like, look, I'm going to put you in here. Our clients have it. Also, why don't you sign up for HomeKeeper because you have a home and you need to take care of it too. And so now you capture their information and you'll start uh, contacting them. Like once a month, they'll get some type of a notification from you right out of the app, which is really cool too. Yeah. And, and they're like caring ones, right? You know, they're ones that say it's time to check your smoke detectors. And it's like, oh, Alex really cares that I'm safe. And <laughs> so, do we, so get your phone out, Lair Bear. So do we in your profile now or are we going to wait for you to? Yeah, I mean, if you want to go ahead and scoot ahead, you can. Well, no, I, I so, don't. <laughs> so everybody online, do you guys have this um, part completed? Yeah. Oh. Yes, yes. <laughs> well, no, but those could have been the yeses that they could hear me, right? Awesome. So yeah, now that you've completed it, you'll click get the app. And what that's going to do is it's going to give you the pro version of the app. Um, and you need the pro version. On the app store. Yeah, the app store. That's right. But you shouldn't have to go to the app store because the next thing that you would have got was this here. Use the app. And if you clicked on that, it would have taken you to your Play Store or your iStore or whatever, or iTunes. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to go get rice because we're that far? Yep. Okay. So we do have, it's actually in the app store. Though. That's right, yeah. Okay, stop. It's telling me that my KW email is invalid. You, you shouldn't even need that, Janice. You should be able to put any email that you want to use. So. Um, you know, just put your name, last name, uh, and then whatever email address you normally use and your password and it'll create a brand new account. Because I already have one, but I'm not aware of it. Okay, well then perhaps you want to uh, do I forgot my password and then you'll... There's a sign in button. At the... Yeah, there's a sign in button. But she just tried to create her account, that's why she got you that. Do you guys allow notifications? I do. Yeah, the push notification that you'll get from that will just be a like a uh, if somebody inquires on there. 
<laughs> then you'll get a message letting you know that so and so requested a roofer or something, right? All right, Sandy, are you fixed up yet? Maybe everybody has one. No, they don't have one naturally. Um, you may have. Email, yeah, because when you go to sign in, you should be able to click forgot password. Well, it's not that. It tells me I already have an account that's existing, right? Yeah. So then click sign in instead. What's that? Say uh, get the app. Oh, okay. Well, because you're gonna want the app. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Just going ahead. Okay. Just this part. Sandy, you could always just set it up with a different email if you have multiples, and then afterwards you could figure out what was going on with that one and maybe uh, deactivate the account or move forward on the new one. Okay, Aaron, how do I make this clicky thingy? Oh, you need to click on the button. You click on the button. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so, is everybody at the spot where you're setting up your account? So you've got your app launched, you're downloaded, you've logged into it, Holly did. Yeah. This is what you thought should offer Well, no, no, but she was just waiting, right? Press your button. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> We were just it's joking because Larry. Should I put it back? Should I put it in? Now you're signing in. Yeah. So for you guys online, if you take a look at it, once you have your app in place and you're logged in, then you have to start filling in your information for you on your app so that when people are um, seeing your app in the end, it's going to look good. And then as well, you can uh, add in the vendors that are affiliates that are already uploaded uh, by the office, but you're ultimately going to want to create your own network. So KW app text code optional. Yeah. Uh, so just skip that, Janice and Holly. Okay. Um, what that code, um, you'll get an email, and then you can just follow those steps later on that one. You can actually tie this one with your KW app, and if you don't have the KW app, that's a whole other lesson. <laughs> well, that's, oh, is that Yeah. Well, sometimes my half works and sometimes it, it works now. I don't even. It, what if I do? Well, I'm still getting Jessica. I don't. Have you checked in the last week? Yeah. Really? What's the KW app? Like it's like a home search thing, right? So people can Why be driving. Well, you want to have it so that when you're with a potential buyer, you can just say, "Look, if you're driving by a house and you like this one." Um, just click on it, get the information, and then you can email me directly, but you'll be able to see all the pictures, the price, the this or that, and all that other stuff, right? So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so our app does work really well for that. All right, so is everybody doing okay getting this part set up? Now, you don't have to use these 14 vendors. There's not a whole lot of them in there. Um, 
but they're ones that um, and maybe we should expand that list a little bit more because 14 is not very many people right well, that's what I have that's what you have okay so maybe what we <laughs> what we should all do guys right yeah, yeah. So what we should do, uh, people online too, is we should make a list of our guys and send them to Erin so that she can actually make this automatically better for anybody the moment they do it. And we'll know that the people that we're sending are people that are good people. And, you know, we're going to know that this list is going to have some integrity to it because it's referred by us, right? And, I mean, obviously, Tammy, you wouldn't do this one. <laughs> All all right, so online, does everybody have their apps started up? So when you're finished, this is what it should look like. And if nobody had this little thing here, the KW, I can send that to you or text it right now, and then you can put that in there. Yeah, it lights up. I just had to go through this yesterday because I was like, I've had mine set up for I don't know how long, right? So I was like making an account and yeah. I was like screenshotting as I was going. <laughs> um, Tammy and Sandy, those 14 Tell Sandy. She'll know. Uh, Sandy, just to make sure that you do know, though, um, the vendors that can automatically add up their Halifax vendors. So you'll probably want to skip that step, and maybe you and Tammy or even you have a good list of people you'll want to use um, to create yours. So does everybody look like this yet? No. Does anybody need a KW app or a thumbnail? Do you have a photo that you can put in there? Like I just went to my... Yeah. Because where you're setting up now, what you could do um, is like even, do you have like a, a picture on one of your websites or even the KW site? Like I have it on like somewhere. Yeah, like even like if she screenshots it. Yeah, like. That's what I used to do. For sure. Yeah, I can text that. Okay. Uh, KW Halifax. From the KW site. Oops. Okay. Oh, there's a pretty Holly. There you go. Oh, oh perfect. Yeah, so what I just did for Holly was I went on to her browser on um, uh, the phone and I went to the KW Halifax website. Uh, you had to go down and scroll to the bottom to go to the full version of the site. And then you go to Meet Our Realtors and you look yourself up, hold your finger over top of the picture and save the image to your phone and then you'll be able to upload that up. Did you choose it already? Really? Yeah, well, oh, I didn't hit finish there. Yeah, so you'll yeah. submit. Yeah. And where is my phone? So who needs me to text them the um, the thumbnail? Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the thumbnail of the company logo for those online. <laughs> I have, I have <laughs> 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 
Alex, do you need one? Carol just said that she needs one. Okay. Are you good? On where? When it says. On the app? Yeah, on the app. If it says choose or quick find. Okay. <laughs> Apparently, Holly just said that there's a thing on there called quick find. So you can uh, go ahead and find one right on there. So. I was unaware. All right, just join back. Can you text me four or three? All right, Cheryl, I just did. I didn't know what about the second. I just said Let me see. What does add the vendor? Yeah, so right now there's 14 vendors, like whether they're roofers, electricians, whatever, that are in there um, that Aaron has uploaded uh, into this, right? So that's what I was saying earlier. If all of us could just take a list of our guys and send them to Aaron, she can really create this so that we can automatically upload a lot of really great people. She'll remember how to do it when she has to. Okay, the next one says add vendor, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah, so if you want, like, because these are Halifax ones, so you might as well choose them because there's 14 people that you won't have. Uh, if you do that, then the next slide will tell you how to add vendors. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay. All right, so now you want to add your vendors, right? So you're going to, and you're at your dashboard, you've got, you know, this is what you're going to see. So you're going to click on add your vendors, and then you'll have a couple of choices of what you can do. And so you'll go through your contacts, right? So I just happen to go and pick my brother, right? He's an electrician. So, um, you know, once I started to type that in, I got him, then I was able to classify him and then submit this. Congratulations. Yes, well, you finished. Okay, so, um, so, so well, you can do that, but you don't need to do that, we'll do that after. Okay. And so, yeah, there's going to be like a little tutorial on there, so you can just swipe through it. There you go. <laughs> oh, thanks. I'm always shedding. <laughs> So one of the benefits of this here, uh, and I was just saying a little bit earlier, is that you know if we want to go out and we want to build relationships with people and we want to get referrals from people. So if we have this tool and we can show them, like, look, you know what, uh, all of the clients that I sell houses to, they automatically get this as a gift from me so that they can maintain their home. Uh, they're going to get updates. So if you're talking to a plumber, you might say it's going to tell you to inspect your hot water heater. And so, you know, you don't know exactly what that means to inspect it, but it'll also give you a little blurb as to why you should be inspecting your hot water heater. And then when it says, well, you know, how do I do that? Who do I get to do it? Well, you can click choose vendor and the people that you've aligned yourself, they will come up and then they'll be able to call them right from there. And so if you happen to not have somebody in there, like maybe you don't have a chimney guy and they're looking for that, if they still click on it, it'll end up prompting them to message you saying, I need a chimney guy, right? And so now you can reach out to your client beforehand, get a couple of chimney people lined up <laughs> and then, you know, give them the, the referral. But it's still, you know, they're contacting you for it. 
Yeah. Yeah, we're always in front of their face, right? And, uh, you know, they can, what they see is a little bit different than, you know, what you're seeing, right? Because when you look at this, this is what they're seeing, right? And in here is where they're going to upload the stuff about their hosts and things like that. So one of the things that we should do, and I'm personally signed up for HomeKeeper, is uh, I've created an account for myself that I can use so that I can see what my clients are experiencing, right? And I get little notifications and it's great, you know, it tells me when it's time to check my gutters and clean them out or, you know, change my, um, uh, what I want, uh, filters in my water treatment and, you know, just different things like that, right? So it, it it's great. It helps you take care of your house, right? And, you know, what we're doing is we're offering them a tool to make sure that they're taking care of it and keeping safe by checking their smoke detectors and changing the batteries in them and things like that too. Oh, sign yourself. Yeah, no, it is. It's awesome. And we should always do that for anything that you're doing as far as marketing is concerned. You should be in your own database. Yep. So when you're adding vendors, are you going to show us that? Yeah, so this was adding a vendor here, right? And so at the end, I would hit submit, and then Ian Brown would be under the electricians, right? So what I've done is, you know, you click add vendors, choose from contacts, and then so I... When you say add vendors... Where, are, are the vendors in your contacts? Yes. So they end up going into, if you see this one here, you know, I made that yesterday. It had the 14 people that Keller Williams had. Right. Plus, as I did this, I added my brother. So, well, Holly, you'll see that it gives you options. Choose from your contacts or add them manually. Yeah. So it's people that oh, you want to put in. Right. So when you add vendors manually, you just... Okay. Yeah. No so yeah, now the next the next slide will show you that, right? This one here is just from your contacts because right now you know your phone is full of a whole resource right. of people. You could yeah. probably build this list of 30, 40 right. people yeah. just out of your phone before you even go out and start networking with businesses, right? Okay. So to edit manually, you know, you would just go ahead and select the other one instead. Uh, you can also take pictures of people's business cards if you want to do that too. Um, but this here allows people to actually call right from the app. You can't call from a picture, right? Right. Okay. So, uh, you know, then instead of that automatically being populated with the information that was in my contact card, I would have to manually enter it. So that would be the thing that you'd be doing with the person that you're, you know, at their business having the discussion with them about, you know, starting. So then you would select their category and then in the end it would be filled out and of course if they have websites and stuff like that you can do that. And when you submit it then your vendors will just have one more person in it, right? That's the same one. Okay, uh, so how to add your clients. So again, same story, you have your Add Vendors, Add Clients button, so you'll click on that. And you get a various different ways that you can do it, and you can classify them. Uh, and then you have all your different choices. So when you're doing from an email, uh, you'll click Draft Your Own Email. It will give you a template of something. I mean, I don't know why you'd want to reinvent the wheel. It works, right? <laughs> you know? um, Yeah, it is really easy. It's just one of those things you got to start getting used to. Um, and yeah, so basically they can decide if they want to be in or out. Um, you know, from your contacts, uh, you can send them text messages as well. And uh, then there's also, you know, the way that we can share it on Facebook or we can, you know, take the uh, invitation link and we can embed it into anything that we want, our own personal email. Um, another thing to, to take note of with your email is you can actually copy that entire email and you can place that into your market um, leader or eEdge or whatever CRM tool you're using and you can send out a massive uh, email to all of your people saying, hey, you know, I just got this great new app and I wanted to share it with you. It's going to help you maintain your home and stay connected with my people. Um, you know, that I recommend for service. So you're never ever going to wonder, do I have a guy for this? Of course you do, right? And so you could just send that to them and they could, you know, 
download it on there. And, and basically what you're going to want to do is just hit it every which way you can to all the people that you can, right? So um, go to your app, and there's a little uh, three lines up in the corner. Yeah, and so when you click on that, you'll see um, uh, global my client invitation link or something like yep. that, second one down. So just click on that and then go to your Facebook and, uh, you know, type something and paste that into there and your app will pop up and just tell everybody that we're having a contest to see who can get the most amount of users on their new awesome app. And, uh, you know, nobody's going to win. We'll get some bragging rights. <laughs> yeah, of course. Why wouldn't you, right? Maybe you're going to get a lead. You don't know. Somebody might go, oh, my God, Alex is the coolest ever, right? <laughs> Yourself. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the only winner is you. You get people using your app, you get people potentially sharing your app, and you get people potentially coming to you because they need something to do with their They're home or to sell. Contest, no, okay. no, it's your contest, right? You're in a contest at KW. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm in a contest, so download my app so I can win. Yeah. All right, well, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you are talking. That's the best line ever. I'm in a contest. I mean, the most in referrals. So that's, what it, that's what it should look like. And do you put it something up? That easy. In that? Yeah. Yeah, so you've got your homekeeper. So I would say something. I'd be yeah, like, yeah, yeah okay. you know, All just right. type whatever you want. Like, hey, guys, uh, I got this really cool new app, um, you know, and I wanted to share it with you guys, but I'm also in a competition. Help me win, right? Download it. Check it out. Exactly. Yeah. So they'll go in, they'll be prompted to open an account too, oh. but they won't be opening up a pro account. They're going to be opening up a regular account. Like a homeowner account. Yeah. Okay. Is there a cost for that? No, no, it's a totally free thing for them, right? You know, it's a complimentary product that you're offering to them to help them maintain their home and connect them with people that will also be able to help them repair the home or do things service-wise that's required as needed. You want them to be their sister, their source, anything home-related? Your face no, your yeah. And so that's your value proposition yeah. too. When you're going in and you're meeting with somebody, um, you know, both the homeowner and the business person, you know, when you're saying to somebody, you know, you're, that you're trying to get their business and be the one that's going to sell them a house, you know, you're going to say to them. And the other thing that I always give all of my home buyers is my complimentary app. So you're going to have me for life anytime that you're wondering what you should be doing to your house or you know you know it's time to change something or you need a plumber or you want it to get some light fixtures changed you know you can just go right onto my app and you can look up electricians and these are all people that are tried tested and true I would not recommend them if they weren't good and so now you'll have this forever right and I'm going to give you some updates when it's time to maintain your home so that you never let things fall behind <laughs> no no but like these would be the conversations that you would have right and you know, the same story when you're talking to a business owner, you know, you're saying that I'd like to develop a relationship with you and I sell this many houses a year and, you know, this is what I put with all of my clients and, you know, this is my list of people and you will be in there, right? You'll be able to become one of the people that get a phone call when somebody needs to get their light fixture changed or their toilet's clogged and they need a plumber, you know, what, whatever it is that they need, you're going to be, you know, a uh, a person that's on my list, an approved vendor, somebody that I recommend service to. And, uh, you know, with that, that gives you the opportunity to also follow up with these people, you know, once every quarter and just ask them how their business is going and ask them if they know anybody looking, you know, to buy or sell a house and ask them if there's, yeah, you know, have you received any calls from my clients? You know, how is this working out for you? Is there any other things that we can do together to grow each other's businesses, right? Like, it's just, it's a piece of value. It's a tool that you're offering to open up the conversation so that you're not going in going, give me, give me. 
you're actually going, here you go, let's work together, right? So it's more coming from contribution as opposed to, you know, let's give me business, give me business. Right. It's like, here's a way that you're always going to be able to continue to get business from me. And ultimately, if this tool is good and it's being used by my clients and it's always fulfilled with, you know, people that are, are you know, good vendors, mm -hmm people will continue to use it. And then they're going to share it with their friends too. That's something that they can do, right? They can refer you from it. Yeah. So what you guys should do is sign up for a, an account um, just to go through. It's pretty cool because when they sign up for the account, they go through a various bunch of questions. And there'll be things like, um, you know, do you live in a cold area or a warm area? Uh, you know, do you, what kind of a heating system do you have? Um, do you have a pool? Like just a bunch of questions about a home and it will ask them all those things and then it'll customize for them uh, like a maintenance plan. So, so how do you know if somebody went in here and used it and contacted somebody? Does it give you an alert of some sort? No, it doesn't give you an alert if somebody called somebody, right? But if you don't have somebody in there, you'll get an alert saying, like, um, like maybe you don't have a appliance repair guy or something, right? And they need their appliance repaired. Well, they can go ahead and send a message right from their app okay. to you, and then you'll get an email or a push notification, and you'll go, oh, you know, I better give them a call, right? right. You know, and then at that point, just you know, find out. So, so, but do you have any idea if anybody's using it at all? I guess. I bet you if you go, and, and that's not something that I have looked at, but I bet you if you go to um, the Homekeeper web page, mm -hmm. you probably have like an analytics side of things because I know that our KW app does through um, the eEdge sites and that. Um, there's, or, well, not eEdge, but my KW, a KW site. Mm -hmm. I know that one you can go in and you can see how people are searching and what properties they've searched for and stuff like that from the app. So I'm sure there's some type of analytics with this. Side. All right. And, and actually, Holly, you can check and see how you like that app. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's a reason yeah, to call. Do that, but I yeah. just want to know if I'm expecting something that's yeah. going to pop up here. Sure. I just downloaded these two. Yep. How do I link them? I got this email. Is it something to do with this? Um, so I got this email. That's to do with this. Like, so here. To get your text code, yeah. Oh, that's, that's it right it? there. It's yeah. just this last part? Yeah, that is your... This goes in under account, I believe, is where you put that. I did that so long. So and I think you have to do it right on the main web page. But do you have your, you don't have your KW app, do you? I just downloaded it right now. Yeah, so set up your KW app. Yeah, I just did that and I did it myself. Okay, so you're there now. Um, homekeeper. And then you can sign in. I think you're right there. So, yeah. yeah. Oh, this is this is like. Yeah, because when I originally set mine up, I set mine up out of my KW app. Like there's. Yeah, where they sign up. Um, you yeah, you do get an alert, and the other thing that happens is you can uh, see like it says uh, my package is a thousand clients, and so if you um, look at it, you'll see how many clients that you have. So right now you should have zero clients. Plumbers, yeah. realtors. <laughs> Obviously, yeah. us. <laughs> and sorry, guys, it's probably a little bit harder when you're on. Um, 
online because you hear the quietness as everybody's kind of going through and doing their thing. But I did make a spread or a slideshow yesterday afternoon after Aaron told me that it was going to be online. So. <laughs> Okay. Um, <clears throat> oh, thanks, Chance. Uh, so yeah, no. Um, on the Homekeeper app, like when you look at your dashboard on that app, um, as you get clients, your your number will change, right? So right now, your vendors, if you uh, took the fourteen that were there, will be fourteen. Um, and your clients won't have anything in it. But if you add yourself, like right now, um, you know, I added myself on this yesterday, and I have one client in this test account, right? Um, I just created a home uh, pro account, and then a home. Yeah. I got the email that I have. Yes. Uh, Aaron just got an email. Actually, you're right. I deleted that email and I got it yesterday. <laughs> so yeah, Erin got an email when she created uh, a client account that told her that she had um, a, new, a new client register. So did everybody put their uh, post onto Facebook online? Oh, Holly. Go ahead. I don't have any vendors in there yet. I think I'll wait till I have some vendors in there. Yeah. Well, no, but the thing is, is that, um, you know, regardless if somebody needs something, you'll still get an email and you'll be able to contact them. Yeah. I, I still want to. I know. You, I know you do. So if I want to do my own, uh, do I add myself? Yeah, well, you okay. can, right? I can add clients and then I went to But you'll have to use a different email address yeah. in this because you can't have two email accounts. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. Got gotcha. yeah. So, um, yeah. So you just click on that, and then you add your clients. You select what type of client. Yeah. Is that what you do? Share my invitation. Well, that share my invitation link is the exact same thing as what oh. we. Um, so you save it to a clipboard, and then you could go to um, Facebook and um, embed that. But the quick way of doing it is just click there, right? Add myself is what I'm trying to do. Facebook. Oh, you're going to add more vendors too, Janice? <laughs> and if you just take a few minutes going through your phone, you will be surprised how many people, like I said, you can probably have 30 or 40 by the end of today. Just um, you know, going through all the people that are program, uh, programmed into your phone for asbestos and mold and um, water treatment, septic inspections, you know, what have you. You start putting all that stuff together, you're going to get a lot of people real fast. What's my plan being or am I going too far? What's that? My we get a thousand people uh, for free that we can oh. put into our home keeper, right? Oh. So. That's a pretty huge database. Yeah. yeah, and I think that once you have over a thousand in there, you're halfway yeah. to the millionaire real estate agent. So I think that you'll be doing good, and you won't mind paying. Uh, <laughs> and just an FYI, that the account that we get is usually hundred dollars. Okay, actually, and Aaron just said something which is really cool, right? You know, we get a lot of great stuff at Keller Williams for. Um, for free, uh, technology-wise, and so if we were to buy this account from Homekeeper, if we weren't here, it would cost three hundred dollars. So that's paid for in our fifty-five dollars, which is awesome. And what was the other thing we were talking about today too? Um, that somebody was using that was paid for. Dot Loop is forty dollars. Yeah, Dot Loop is forty dollars a month. And Market Leader, which is each, is twenty-five or thirty. Yeah, and then the twenty-five or thirty dollars for the Market Leader. So. We've got some really awesome stuff that is for free here. And then even that KW app, I don't think that that would cost anybody anything anywhere. We're the only uh, company that has a Keller, well, that has their own brokerage. Oh, really? Yeah, their Age own brokerage branded, app. Age, brokerage. Yes, agent branded, right? Because that's, that's the big key for that one. When you actually make the KW app, which you'll be able to do uh, from the email that you all have in your inbox now, 
uh, from setting this up and not knowing what your KWID was. Um, you'll be able to go in and set that up and it's completely branded for you. It's your face on there. Your clients can use it and, uh, and you know, see houses that are around them if they're driving down the street and they can email you right from the app. So it's, it's really cool. It's a good way to keep them off a of viewpoint. Yeah. <laughs> Although we should have them all signed and we don't worry about them. <laughs> Did anybody online have questions? Yeah, Janice, you can always call me or email me too. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> For you guys that couldn't hear Alex here, it was quite funny. She's, uh, she's got a big Friday night plan. She's picking up a bottle of wine on the way home, and uh, she's going to lay in bed and watch some Netflix, and uh, she's going to put her vendors into her uh, homekeeper. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the one benefit of the, uh, the seven is that I can sit in the hot tub and do it. <laughs> Waterproof from woohoo! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah they are. I don't think I'd want to leave. So also, you have a hot tub. I'd be like in my bathtub. Yeah, I'm with you. Well, we could have a homekeeper party. Yeah. Well, that email, but that's my KW app that I already have. Yeah, that'll just give you your. Um, your KWID, and I believe you're going to need to go to the uh, Homekeeper site to merge those two things oh, together. Yeah, I'm betting that you have to actually. Because see, when I originally set mine up, I had the KW app, uh, app when Kevin Fudge did the uh, uh, the workshop, and so then I got an email about Homekeeper, and when I got the email, I went to the KW app and I happened to see Homekeeper was right there and so I clicked on it and it was like right through the same link so that we could sign up for free, right? So then the two of them were joined together because I created one from another. But I've already said this, but I just noticed you can actually go here to client app. Yeah, what your clients are seeing. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, so like this is what my home maintenance is, right? So it has this whole list, uh, and they'll come up as push notification. So do you, oh, do you put some of this stuff in? No, so if you sign up, right, if I want to click edit, right, if I click edit, right, I'm a single family house, is it warm all year round, you know, it's cold, do I have central AC, window unit, none, right, you know, and so. Thanks, Kelly. You're welcome. And so then, you know, do you have uh, radiators, furnace, not sure, no heating system, right, you know, and so I had a furnace. And, yeah, basement, crawl space, neither, right, so, and so then now all of a sudden it does a little check mark and it's saying, please wait while we compile your maintenance checklist, right? And so then. Looking for the KWI. Whenever you're teaching, there... you always need somebody in the audience. That's right. Seriously. Look, I don't know what I do without you today, Tammy, between the committee meeting and keeping all the squirrels, you know, uh, herded. Uh, so, Cheryl, the KW app, if you look in your email, you should actually have something right now that will uh, take you to where you need to go to get your KW app. 
uh, and that's because uh, you didn't put your homekeeper and the KW app together. What did the email say on it, Alex? Do you still have it? Yes. You received an email from KWF? Uh, yeah. Homekeeper From the support. Homekeeper app. Really? That's it yeah. just says, welcome to Homekeeper. Give you the tools to provide. Uh, oh, no, that's not the right one. Hold on. Oh, I see it down here. Yeah. How to find your mobile app. Tools. Yeah. I'm sure you can find your mobile app. So that text code, uh, the KW, whatever the numbers are afterwards, yeah. that'll be your own personal unique yeah. number. And that's what's going to make the app yours. And then as well, you can share that, you know, maybe wait a week and let the homekeeper one go and then, you know, send the other app maybe even on Monday, right? You know, Friday was one thing, Monday's another day. I've got yeah. another great app for you, right? Thank you, Kelly. You're welcome. We're not going to do this again. <laughs> Thank you. So You're we welcome. Already have now go home and teach Judy. What? Go home and teach Judy now. I'm going to make it. <laughs> <laughs> so, Kelly. Hi, Kelly. Oh, oh, hi. So, thank you very much. This is informative. I have the app downloaded and have customized, but I did not have the KW app downloaded beforehand. So each time I try to add something, it wants me to pay $100 for the subscription. So I'm trying to find the right KW app to download so I can merge oh, are you on? Are you on KW app or are you still talking HomeKeeper? Well, I have the HomeKeeper downloaded, so, but it's but not merged with did, the KW one. Did you do it through the very first um, slide? The second? No. I missed the first slide. I just jumped in halfway and started to do it myself. Yeah, I know what's going on. Um, yeah, yeah, it was awesome. There. So. Uh, oh, perfect. That's where I'm supposed to go. Yeah. <laughs> Should I start all over again? Yeah. Yeah, I think you should, um, you know, delete that one. Did you, did you make an account? Well, if you made the account, though, um, if you have another email address you don't use, I would go into the account that you just created and change it so that, because you're probably going to want this to be associated with the one email address you, you like to use, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, unless, click on the home keeper. Well, it says free for KW Associates, and then click sign in and see what happens then. Yeah. Yeah, go to that website, sign in. Because it, it might just flip and try that. Yeah. yeah, that might be all that you need for it to know that you're supposed to get it for free. And just the last comment, I, I still don't know which KW app I should download. I know it's the one that uh, Kevin gave a, a, a session on with regards to finding homes. But how do I search it underneath apps? Yeah, don't worry about searching the apps. What you should do is um, actually go ahead and follow the email that you would have got from um, HomeKeep. Home oh, that's why mine's not working. I went in Store. Uh, uh, okay. Other ones wrong with No, I just downloaded it from the but it's not a lot. It's not my Yeah, so when you customize, like first you need to get the app and then you can add your KW. Just your. So I that I is telling to 
So you already have the KW app? Go into your KW app. And you're going to do Homekeeper be somewhere in here. There it is. I guess hindsight's 2020. I should have. Um, I should have probably did both of these apps together. I wasn't even thinking about that where Kevin had did the app before. See, now it's saying welcome to home. I've already, I, I've That's but why do I want to create an account to home keep when I already have my down? Well, is it get your face and stuff? Oh, it doesn't have yours. But so. The, so the, yeah, it does. Holly Shulman. Your picture's not showing up there for some reason. Yeah, but on my HomeKeeper app it is. Yeah. But yeah. So, so now, yeah, somebody will be able to go ahead and go to HomeKeeper from your app. So if you have somebody using your Keller Williams searching oh, okay. app. So is that the only reason why I find this? Yeah, you're good. Yeah, you're good. Yeah. So I don't need this app to go into HomeKeeper and share it, right? I, that's just an added bonus, my KW. That's thing, right. right. Let me see your KW app, though, because right. I saw you had a little American flag up there, and we need to fix that. I did. I'm pretty sure you did. Oh, no, you had a Canadian flag. Did you have an American flag? I thought I saw an no, American flag on somebody. It's always American for a second, and then, like, look, oh, service okay. kicks in. Okay. Okay, so my question is... You're welcome, I Sandy. Link the two, right? I, I have no, to. They're, okay. you're good. Then, oh, yeah, that's I, what I was trying to do. Yeah. 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 All right, well, I don't want to yeah. do that. I do, yeah. My app, the app that I have, like this one here, I just created because, like, I didn't. I was like, I said to even Aaron a while ago, I'm like, uh, I don't know how I got it free. <laughs> I'm like, and she's like, oh, you just go, and I'm like, no, no, you don't do that. I remember clicking through something, right? And so then she found the app for, or the the link for me. And so then I was like, okay, I know the last time that I did do it. I got the notification saying that we had it free, and when I was looking in here, and the face of this has changed because my homekeeper used to be down here as one of these squares, right? And and I was looking to see if you could do that, and you can't, but it's in this menu on the sidebar, right? And uh, so I had seen the homekeeper. I was like, oh, cool, and I clicked it, and then it asked me to start an account, and I did, and all of that. Oh, you know what I mean? Like it was yeah, just yeah. all so long ago, right? And oh, even this. Thing. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, you share your app, right? Yeah, that would be. Cool. Yeah. And so what well, you should do um, when you're with like a, a buyer is uh, you're in your presentation. You can just go ahead and say, here, let's put this onto your phone right now, right? And then you'll be connected to me when you're up driving around. Yeah. Or at an open house. Yep. Someone comes in, like they're probably not to buy that. Be like, oh, what's your number? I'll text you now. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> so I'm in, in my regular I'm in my regular app, right? Mm -hmm. and it's I said so my client Okay, so that's what my clients are saying, right? Yep. Okay. And then so actually I want to go to my very own just Yeah, you needed to sign up as a client because here, see Holly? But it, okay. I have two. I have Pro, and this is where I maintain and I add people. And then because I wanted to sign up, because I, I wanted that. I just had all of that, so where did it go? Well, you had that probably here. Um, I 
I just put in single family home and then it brought me up my, my schedule, May 1st, okay. do oh, all yeah, that, sorry. blah, blah, blah. That's what I'm just doing right now. Holy crap, Holly. What? Do I have a lot? <laughs> I'm just going to close some things out for you. <laughs> Are you on Safari? No. Oh. What are you posting? Oh, my God. They're running in the background. I'm still going. <laughs> <laughs> I know you don't. <laughs> I don't think you've ever so done that. Really? Oh my god! I'm still going, I right? Didn't like, know that. So, are you really oh still going? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm still going. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, no, Holly, I don't know what you did. Oh, okay. um, so I went. Oh, it's telling me to clean my basement tomorrow, the first or whatever the day is. Right? I'm going. Really? Yeah. And all I had to do was put. Oh, yeah. Okay. So. Um, oh, shit. Shoot. Sorry. Oh. All right. So. Um, oh, keeper. All right. So. Did you sign up for. I just want to see what you have here for. All right. You're still having the pro. My KWF, yeah. right? So we went in there, went into Homekeeper from there. Okay. All right. Oh, return to pro. Okay. Yeah. This okay. is what was confusing me. Okay. So here you are. You're in your pro. Yeah. And then you click on this and you want to say view my client app. Yeah. So then what you can do, this is what your clients see. Right. So when they sign up, this is what they see. And you tell them, so they click here and then... Manage homes. Oh, sorry. You go into reminders and then you click edit. So now you go with single family home. Yeah, that's what I and do. And then it's sometimes cold. And oh, do you okay. have central so, AC or all right. I get so just keep going through and, and answering the this questions. Is for me, right? Yeah, and then okay. it'll just make a customized plan for you. All right, I think everybody online's off, so uh, oh Janice, are you still there? Okay, uh, so it won't let me save one of my mortgage contacts. Any suggestions? What's happening? I have the mortgage contact put in, and where it says select category, I have clicked mortgage professionals, um, and it keeps, and so when I say, when I click submit selected categories, it keeps coming up, please select at least one category. Okay, yeah, so you're going to like look up bank or look through the categories and find something that they fall into. Um, so you probably have banker or whatever, uh, mortgage specialist, you probably have that written up under the company name. Um, so change that to like at their Centum or, you know, the mortgage group or BMO or whatever they are. And then under the category, make them a mortgage broker or, or banker or whatever. Categories? Like if she chooses mortgage broker, then does it open up subcategories? I do not I don't think, think so. so. I just did one and I didn't see it. Yeah. You're welcome. The only two things for mortgage is mortgage professionals and reverse mortgage consultants. Uh, yeah, so I would go professionals because we actually don't have reverse mortgage. That's a U.S. thing. Yeah, that's what I'm clicking on. But it said, that's what it's saying when I click on mortgage professionals. Okay, just a second here. I'm just going to go pretend to add one. Also, Big Little Lies. It's only six episodes. And do you have a phone number in there for them? 
and their name. And I'm just putting my website in. Okay, because when I just did that for one of my vendors, it went in no problem. Maybe uh, just scrap it and go back. Maybe it's just a glitch. Yeah, maybe. Okay. I will try that. Sometimes it's as simple as that. Yeah. Yeah, when in doubt. <laughs> Start over. That's right. All right, I will try that. I have to run to the property. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Um, I did put you on the May calendar to give us driving. Yeah. I'd love to see something from the Okay. I saw a new. A new. Um, I have to have a very cold over. Mary. <laughs> in the church, and I went. I mean, you can. <laughs> I do. Just an hour. Let's see. we got to figure out what subjects we're going to talk about. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, and, this and we're going to be doing a. Right? Uh, I have to call it a um, survey that's going to be coming out, just talking about things that maybe you guys uh, are looking into. answer my phone call. Right? Yeah, and, and Holly's going to be calling and bugging everybody. But if there's something in particular that you know we have and you're wondering, like, how the heck do we use it, we want to come up with some type of a um, training so that we can make sure that everybody is getting to take advantage of all these awesome free things we have. Yep, it works, Kelly. I just went out and went back in, and it is saved. And now it worked? Yeah, see, this stuff gets glitchy. Maybe you had a space in, uh, between a number or started with a space or something like that that made it just invalid that it wouldn't work. Sometimes that happens. Yeah. Um, Perfect. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Tell Cheryl, I don't know why she would need a discount code. That. Oh, um, do we have a discount code? Oh, Cheryl, I'm so sorry. I didn't even see that comment. No, we don't. If, if you set up your account through um, homekeeper.com forward slash KW, you will have a free account, no, no question. So you might need to just delete that account or yeah. even call Homekeeper. Tell or her to email support at homekeeper.com. Yeah, email support at homekeeper.com. Perfect. Like an hour. And uh, they'll answer within an hour. I know Tammy did something at the beginning of the class and they answered right away and she did to keep going. So I'll ask them to delete this account so I can start over. Or to just put you on to the KW one, right? Because obviously if you know about it, you know, you're going to, um, okay. you know what I mean? So they, they shouldn't have a problem with that, but if they don't, tell them to delete it. Yeah. Okay. Thanks guys. You're welcome. You're welcome, Tanya. Bye-bye. And guys, if you're like doing things and you have any questions about it, call me. Um, you know, that's no problem at all. Or send me an email. Um, and I'll do what I can to help too. You're welcome. Oh, we got to stop. It's too bad though. There's like probably a lot of silence in it. But I think